Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out the royal family. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Enjoyed the last episode, man. I'm gonna jump right into this one because this room is warming up fast. It's another hot one. The AC did its best to cool it down, but with all the lights and stuff, it just warms right back up really fast. And of course, I can't have it running while I'm recording because it'd be super loud, you know? We'll definitely see if it stands up today, man, for sure. You guys end up saying like a pause while I had to clip the back together because it just got too hot for me, you know? But I definitely enjoyed the last episode, man. I look forward to jumping to this one. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and we'll talk about it more at the end. You know, I'm holding that place together. I'd done four trays of pasties before Titty for Lol took her hands out of her pockets. You know what it is, though, don't you, love? No, love, but I'm fascinated. She doesn't want to work her. <laughs> oh, well, that'll be it then, will it? She's got a new fella. Oh. She wants to be gallivanting. Oh. <laughs> She'll be back. She'll be back for a job when she's chucked her. She thinks he's gonna take her on with them two kids and they're not even his. He'll never leave his wife for her. They never do, do they? No, but some of them must be really tempted. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's like a universal joke when they call the ladies tell the stories. Sounds like Dave's with her. The dudes just aren't interested. <laughs> Terry's going so long. Oh, I can't believe this time next week them two will be married. Sounds as though they're already married. You don't think they're having a row, do you? Oh, yeah, they are. They're having a row. Oh, Jim. They're having a right go at it. It's much worse than it was last week. Do you think you better pop down and have a word with her? I don't know whether I should. Shut it! We're trying to keep up here! Hey, you shut it, Anthony! I want to hear what's going on. I think I might go down, Jim. Go on, will you? You go and sort it out. If you think I'm marrying now, you pig, I'm not! Look, look! Well, a load of lads fancy me, right, and I never bother with them. Well, bother with them then if you want to. I don't want to! Every time we see Beverly Macca, it's the same. You love flirting with her, I saw your face, and you love it. Oh, Dave, what have you done now? I've done now. She's not crying for nothing, is she? <laughs> he was flirting with Beverly Macca. What's I, hell? I'm a DJ, right? She was asking me for a record. Yeah, all right, darling, you kept saying to her. Oh, why? Why did you have to kiss her when she left? She came over to me. Yeah, well, <laughs> every time when I come out of the toilet, right, she was round him like flies, right round shit. What's going on now? Oh, they're arguing about Beverly Macca. She's right, Beverly. She's a tasty little piece. Jim! <laughs> something to tell you, Dad. I'm not getting married on Saturday. That's a few bob saved anyway. Now, right, come on, let's get to bed. Jim. Oh, my God, dude. Well, it's jail <laughs> talking, isn't it? Bloody hell, they're all canned up. I'm not canned. Oh, why, what have you been drinking? Bloody water? No, no. See, our Denise is like a mother. And Barbara always has a bloody go at me when she's pissed. Mind you, to be fair to her, she has a go at me when she's sober. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this wedding, no, Jim. Just because I don't do a song and dance about it every two minutes. I know. Are any tea going? Bloody hell, have you got grey down up your arse? She's got a cob on because I was talking to Beverly Macca. It's the top and bottom of it. Beverly Macca? She's got a gorgeous knock as her. <laughs> no. Oh no, she has some Jesus. <laughs> Anthony, go and ask your mother where she's hid that whiskey with you, lad, and we'll have a little drop in our tea. Oh, a nice one, yeah. I love whiskey, me. Making me one, Dave. Don't laugh. It'll be your old sandwich. This is not laugh. There you go. Oh. Come on, Denise, though. Hey. He's dead upset in there. Oh, I don't care. Is he? 
He thinks the bloody world of you, do you know? And he's a good you lad, a good-hearted bloody lad. Always got his hand in his pockets at the club, not like his bloody old fella. <laughs> Limp along Leslie. Come on, love, try and drink it. I've put a little bit of whiskey in for your nerves. She don't want any more. She's had enough. I'm not pissed. I only had about nine. Nine? Jesus Christ. It's just <laughs> too much for me. A wedding and him. He's all right, the big long streak of piss. That's why nothing gets sorted in this house. Nobody ever talks. So the hell you do nothing else but talk. You've just bent me here for a bloody hour and then bought the arse off me. Telling me about bloody Pauline's flexi time. It was Donna. <laughs> you know, I knew you weren't listening. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered to keep our relationship going. This dude is digging for gold. Dad, stop picking your nose. I don't know you can be bothered about me picking me bloody nose with all the troubles you've got. Haven't you got an anky? What, in me pyjamas? There's hardly enough room for me tackle. Do we need to know, Jim? Hey. Do you remember when Dave came to Cleethorpes with us in that four birth? He took his shoes off and none of us <laughs> dared say no. I bloody did. They were rife. He <laughs> wanted to stake through them. <laughs> He's got much better now. Oh, since I got him that stuff from the Avon. Oh, well, there you see, he does make an effort for you. Tell you what, Bab, don't give me any more of that bloody rhubarb. It's giving me bloody... chronic bloody indigestion. I should repeat on me. Well, I've got some Gaviscon or some Rennies there, if you like. I don't fancy either of them. I think you better get us a couple of Rennies. Telly off. Oh, light is only shite on at this time. Hey, is the equaliser on? Equaliser in my ass. What is the stick they're talking about now? Ah, right, blender eyes. They match your top. I'm not laughing at you, Dave. Still not speaking to you. That's good. I thought I'd gone deaf. You know, I, I feel as weak as a bloody kitten, you know. Dad? Yeah, Dario? He passes a fag before you josh it. <laughs> what does josh it mean? Like, is Probably only pull like, something to Why don't you put some fiery jack on it? Oh, no, I hate that stuff. It stinks the house out. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, I think that shifted it. Yeah, well, there you see, I told you it was heartburn. <laughs> oh, it feels a lot better that now. Right, you two. Are we getting married or what? Of course they are. Aren't you? Come on up. What do you think, Dave? Might as well. <laughs> Seeing as you've apologised to me. Right, Anthony. Go make another drink now, we can celebrate. We've just had one. I know, but I was bloody dying then, wasn't I? I couldn't enjoy it. Hey, mate of mine worked in a uh, pet shop, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he, uh, he got the sack. He got caught with his hands in, in the, the trill. trill. Hey! <laughs> the old ones are the best. Hey! hey you daft pair of buggers. <laughs> Forget the tea, Flash. Just bring the whiskey. <laughs> Look at him now. I'm glad I didn't call out that doctor. <laughs> hey, Dave. Do me dad that impression of Paul Daniels. Go away. Oh, go on. Yeah, go on, Dave. I love impressions. No. Go on. Go on. No. Hey, Jim, turn that telly down. Just trying to think what a show could be. Oh, Have a look at her. Oh, nice right, so one. Go on then, Dave. Go on. All right, all right. <coughs> That's magic! <laughs> <laughs> That's Orville. <laughs> That's bloody Orville. <laughs> <laughs>
Lordy Bremner's job's safe, isn't it? Do you know, I am glad that wedding's back on again. I'm always upset when you call it off. To the wedding! Yay! 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 Oh. <laughs> How long have we been together, Bab? 27 years. 27 years, Dave, and we've never had a crossword. What are you on about, Jim? How to handle a woman is to love her. Simply love her. <laughs> Big soft ape. You haven't got a clue, have you? <laughs> I miss me way, me kid. How could it have been a mick hook and all of our estate, me by well? I sing Dave that song he used to sing, oh, hadn't he, when he was a little baby? Oh, no. God. Oh, oh no. yeah, it's lovely. Hey, you like, hey, you like this? Oh, come on. Nice one, this. Oh. <laughs> Walking down the street in ragged clothes is not a joke. People laugh at me, ha-ha, and call me beggar cos I'm broke. Well, there's one little lad, and he calls me dad. <laughs> Shake hands with a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Hamdi, go get me banjo song. Oh, oh bugger off, oh, no, Jim. It's one o'clock in the morning. Oh, come on, I'm going to enjoy myself. We're 24 hour bloody party people. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, banjo. Oh, come on, then. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd seen the last of that thing. He was a girl, and the only pill. when you wash up. Oh, no, no, I'll sing. I'll oh, sing. no. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on, rescue no. us. Do you remember when she sang in the bloody feathers? What did she sing, that Whitney Houston number? <laughs> she was that bad. The landlord barred his bloody self out. <laughs> you were made for me. Everybody tells me. So. Oh, I'm not doing any more. You take it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, it's nice, no. It's nice. can fly. <laughs> And the sun was burning Me and my gosh. <laughs> in the sky Little eyes were never meant to cry They were meant to see And when I held you, you in my arms I knew that you were meant for me Ah, oh, you know. oh, nice one! <laughs> Lovely kid, oh, you can't whack it, can you? I am, that was a one thing. Oh, not again. Yeah, come on, we bought on the blood. Come on, now we bought on the blood. That reminds me, is there any chicken left? <laughs> hey, come on, what are we going to sing now? Oh, no, that's it now, we're going to bed. Oh, don't be a bloody killjoy, I'm enjoying myself. I was going to put one bar of the fire on. <laughs> come on, Anthony. Go and hide that thing. Good night, kissing over. Night, Bev. Denise. <laughs> hey, don't push it. You big pillock. Hey, get in here for a cuddle. She gonna smell that fart. Oh. Dave. What? Have you farted? <laughs> well, I'm new. So what do you say? All right, man, this is a decent episode, dude. That's that's like a universal joke when it comes to like women telling stories. For a long time, I thought it was just a thing my mom did. My mom told really long stories that she could easily sum up in like two minutes, but she'll take like a half an hour to tell the story. I really thought it was just my mom. And of course, growing up being around more people, more women, the whole shebang, I realized a lot of women tell stories that way. They, they don't like to leave out details. At least what my buddy said, she likes to tell stories the way she likes to hear them, which she doesn't like details being left out. She likes to know every detail about a story so she can immerse herself in it. Take and usually tell pretty good stories unless it has to do a work. Then it's really long. All these unnecessary details to get to the point of the story. I still listen because I love her, but I pick on her for it too. <laughs>
<laughs> like, what was all that for? Why'd you tell me all oh, that? None of that was necessary to get to the point of the story. Gosh, if I'm telling a story, I'm telling it my way. And of course, it's not all women. There are plenty of guys who are very long-winded and take so long to get to the point. It's just funny to me to make that joke in the beginning, her talking about like work and all that jazz and the husband not caring. <laughs> But yeah, man, this is a decent episode, dude. I just sat back and enjoyed it. There wasn't a lot of commentary. I laughed here and there, but I just enjoyed the episode. I want to see the girl now. I forgot her name. The one that kept saying has like great knockers and all that jazz when who's flirting with her guy. They're probably never sure though. They described her enough, so it's probably one of those characters you never get to. Unless she's bogus enough to show up at the wedding just to stir up some crap. That'd be funny to see. There are some celebrity jokes in here I missed. And then the Pat Store joke, I missed that. And he said he got his hand caught in the trill. I'm guessing the trill is a type of animal. And it's referring to the cash till as well, like where the money is kept at. I'm guessing, so I missed that joke too. So there's some jokes that I missed throughout here. And they sung a couple of songs. I'm not sure if those songs were supposed to be familiar or not, if they're like from a nursery rhyme or something like that. I don't know. So there's a few jokes I missed, but I, I enjoyed the episode for sure. All right, folks, man, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.